All right, all right, all right. Mr. Fix It Tight here again with another Fix It video. Today I'm going to show you how to serial port into the UVC G3. If you guys stick around for that, it's going to be a two part video. All right, so first things first on the UVC G3, we will do a quick down and dirty teardown video. On the front of the camera, you will see three little indentions. All you do is take a screwdriver or something in those little indentions, grab a hold of it, and spin the whole thing counterclockwise. Keep spinning it until you get that ring off. Once you get that ring off, you will pull the sunshade out. Once you got your sunshade out, you'll take a nylon spudger and pry up on the lens to remove the lens there will be a small rubber gasket on that on that uh, lens don't lose it at this point I've already removed mine but your board is going to be down inside the housing and you will find three small little nuts down inside there I don't know exactly what size they are as I don't have one but I'm sure you can do some research if you have a precision tool set then you're one step ahead of me I, on the other hand I took a piece of plastic a hollow piece of plastic and I drilled that out with a drill bit and slid that down over the nuts and that was able to remove those nuts so once you get those nuts all the way loosened and removed flip it over get the nuts out of there and then on the back you're just going to push with a finger and that will push push on the network port to remove the board so we set everything else off to the side um, inside of the housing there's also going to be the USB board is going to be mounted down inside of there with two Phillips screws you're going to need to remove that as well and then set that off to the side <laughs> All right, so at this point you're gonna have you're gonna have your your USB board, your network board, and your main camera board. Now what I did was I took to keep from things from shorting out. I put some tape over this uh, this capacitor resistor, whatever it is, um, in order to keep it from shorting out when I put this part of the board together and then I put a piece of tape over this portion of the board to keep the USB from shorting out on anything that it might hit because you're going to be powering this device up the way that it is. So now you've got to this point, you've got some tape in there to keep everything from shorting out. You're going to go back to your main board and on this piece of shielding here where this ground strap is, you're going to lift that up and right there is your ground receive transmit for your serial port. You are going to need a UART device a serial USB uh, UART and you need at a minimum to hook up the receive, transmit, and ground of this device. I'm just going to power it through the uh, through the uh, PoE power supply so I'm going to go ahead and hook those hook those up ground goes to ground transmit goes to receive 
and receive to transmit and you will need to you know solder those on or or I put these little fancy clips on here and at this point you will plug the device back up and you will first hook up your PoE power to the device and then plug in the USB to your laptop. Alright, at this point I'm going to give you a rundown of what you will need to finish the, uh, the job here. You'll need a micro, micro USB and a way to hook that up to your laptop. You will need a laptop with putty installed on it. Once you're at this point, you will go ahead and go into your computer, right click, and go properties, yours may be different, bring up properties, device manager, go into device manager and figure out what COM port your UART device installed on. Mine is on COM port 15. So we close everything back out and we open PuTTY and we're going to select Serial COM 15 and our connection is going to be 15 600 for our speed. Make sure you put that speed in there COM 15 and serial port and click connect at this point you'll come up just hit enter and you guys hold on for part two of the video uh, you I'll, I'll finish this up on part two so thank you guys for watching this is fix it tight signing off like share subscribe